we were attending an NABJ convention and Asa Moore introduced us. And she was then um, an assistant editor at the Baltimore Sun. I knew instantly I was gonna hire her. She came in as an assistant editor and before you knew it, she was the Jersey editor. She had good common sense. She had good eye for stories. And she was a really human being. She worked in an Enquirer newsroom where people of color were few and far between. She is intent on changing the face of our profession and speeding up the rate at which we come closer, I hope, to better reflecting the communities that we cover, both in terms of what we choose to cover and how we cover those stories. Diversity is one of the great challenges and one of the great opportunities that we have in our industries. And Lorraine has been a champion for diversity here. She has always been the person who has said to us, we have to do more to reflect the diversity of the United States in our industries. Lorraine has the full toolkit as a leader. The most important thing is her demeanor. She's got the temperament for leadership. And when other people are becoming upset, histrionic, impatient, she has that implacable cool and gives everyone the feeling that it's all going to be fine, it's all gonna be okay. Poise, sense of humor, grace under pressure, great at empowering the people working for her to take chances even while feeding the all-important beast of getting good stories on a regular basis. She decided she wanted to get into the academic world and there was an opening at the University of Texas as the head of the journalism department. And from that point, she then got recruited to become the dean at Syracuse. I think it's important to note that Lorraine has led this school through some tremendous changes. We've had a lot of retirements, there have been a ton of technological changes we've had to modernize and Lorraine has been a really big force to help us do that. She's got the wisdom to say the way we learned it, you can't teach it that way anymore. The one thing we cannot change is the composition of our faculty. So what Lorraine had to do was, and, and we call her the Velvet Hammer, was to get faculty to embrace new technology, to go out and to refresh their skills. I have learned more from her about people about temperament, about how to comport yourself, about how to forgive, and about how to mentor. 